believe it usually goes great with turkey, but you won't want to put it on one of these guys. These sweet birds are for dessert, so let's check out how these clever confections are made. Who wouldn't want to gulp down a chocolate gobbler, eat the Eiffel Tower, or gobble up a green frog? In Tecumseh, Michigan, the town's old bank is now home to the Chocolate Vault, where they sell landmark confections. It's whatever floats your boat in chocolate. And at Thanksgiving, the store cooks up hundreds of holiday birds using their own sweet recipe. Obviously, at you know, Thanksgiving, you're gonna, we do turkeys. Every November, owners Barb and Jim McCann break out of the mold of pumpkin pie and mincemeat by making an abundance of chocolate novelties. We do the wishbone. There's a pilgrim boy and a pilgrim girl. But the biggest seller by far is the solid chocolate turkey. We have turkeys that are great for table centerpieces. We have medium-sized turkeys. They could be done as uh, place cards at each plate on a Thanksgiving table. And what guest wouldn't wish for one of these? Well, the, the fact that everybody can have a wishbone now and it's chocolate on top of it, just, you know, icing on the cake. So how do they create these chocolate masterpieces? We're going to add uh, a couple chunks of chocolate to the back uh, and it'll melt to the uh, temperature that's set by the machine. The secret of molding chocolate is in the melting, keeping the mixture at just the right temperature. Air bubbles in the chocolate can tank this turkey but a paintbrush keeps them from fouling up the works. That fills in any pockets that the chocolate doesn't want to flow into, plus breaking up any little bubbles that are formed. The mold is filled to the brim with chocolate. Tapping it gets rid of all those pesky air bubbles. Now this Tom Turkey is ready to spend some time cooling his heels. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes in the refrigerator for the chocolate to set. And now we'll see if these birds will fly. Okay, that side came out good. Next, the turkeys are trimmed, brushed off, and spruced up. Wrapped and tied with a bow, this guy is all dressed up for the big day. And the hardest part of the job? For me personally, probably uh, staying out of the chocolate. Who knows, someday chocolate may even become a Thanksgiving tradition. But until then, these Turkey Day confections are sure to bring out a few smiles. When they come in and they see something and they point to it and they, they nudge their spouse over or the kids and, you know, look, look at that, look at the turkey. Uh, maybe they hadn't seen a chocolate turkey before. For your Thanksgiving it's a sweet job. Thank you. That ought to do it.